G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, third try at my primary colours. Moved over around the back of the table now, so I'm not standing in the way of my lights that are shining on. Hopefully it'll make a little bit of difference. Okay, put my gloves back on. They're a bit grubby, so excuse that. Trying to preserve gloves. Uh, now, same colours as the last one. I have All Mark Mark Studio Acrylic Deep Cyan Blue. That's that one. Brilliant Red. And the new colour from Montmartre, Medium Yellow. And they've started putting on whether the paint's opaque or semi-opaque. So that's nice of them to do that. I asked them and they said yes, so yay! <laughs> Doesn't hurt to ask, does it? Righto, let's put some oil in. Now these, the white and the yellow, I've added an extra 20 grams of paint because they're much thinner than the red and the blue. So I started, they've all got 60 grams of pouring medium, which is two ounces. Then I put 60 grams of paint in, which is two ounces. And then I had to add an extra 20 grams, which is it's almost an ounce, but not quite. So let's do four drops in each. One, two, three, four, because there's four ounces. So we have four drops. So these are pretty thick, still one to one. But um, so, so <clears throat> sometimes, you know, if one paint is thicker than the others, I would then thin that out to make it the same. But with this, I've thickened a couple to make them the same as the thicker one so that's what I've done differently stir that really well I don't want any caterpillars this time I'm going to really try and be careful with my torching and not get too close so I don't get those caterpillars because the mix is thicker you are more likely to get caterpillars only because you're torching closer because the mix is thicker you need to torch a little bit closer to get that the um, silicone oil to come up to the surface because you know it wants to rise oils want to rise so maybe I'll just take a little bit longer with my torching um, and just get a really warm heat to go more slowly through rather than get too close so let's try that hey and the other thing I thought I'll do is I'll just pour down the side and I might go in different areas too. Why not? Let's see what happens. Oh, now you're quite thick. Yes, you are. Change it up a little bit, hey? See what's going to happen with this. It's faster anyway. <laughs> That's for sure. Just have to remember where I put my last colour because I don't want them exactly on top of each other. See, the yellow's there, so I'm not going to put the yellow there. I'll put it over on this side. I wonder how it'll work. Why have I never done this before? I mean, I've done pores like this where I've layered my paint more sort of in a as you would for your ring pause, but I um, haven't really done it with the flip cup. All right, let's put all that red in. Well, you're a lot of red. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's going to be underneath. interesting to see hey what the colors are like with me mixing it up a little bit with the layering because normally I would do a whole layer but now it's only sort of covering about a third isn't it so we shall see what happens so when you're doing these flip cups really make sure that you've got enough paint because then you'll be able to make sure that you can move it around the canvas really easily without stretching everything. 
So if you think you've got enough, mix it up and then add an extra ounce of each color. Just to be sure. You're better off having a little bit more and you tip it off rather than not having enough and over stretching. Um, I need a cloth, oh it's on the other table. All right, let me flip this over. And I'll do what I did last time, do like a bit of a figure eight, uh, not figure eight, like an S, um, and see if I can get the colors to just have a nice little pattern on them rather than just a, a flip straight over. Just get my gloves a bit of a wash there. Okay. Be careful not to get paint on my pour, I varnish this one, I gave it a quick little varnish, probably can't see it all but yeah, like one of my favourite paintings and I just gave it a varnish, it's just sitting over here, I'm going to try not to, not to mess it up, I should have moved it over a bit more. I'll just be careful. Righto, let's see what's going to happen now, hey? Yeah, I've got a lot more white there. Made the white thicker this time. Let's just pour some paint on the corners. But you can see how stripey it is when you pour it out of the cup. So I don't really like that. That's why I only put it on the edges, which means I can tip it off. So hopefully we'll get some pretty colours up underneath that. Now, I'm going to take my time torching. So slow, a lot more heat, obviously going. It's going to take a long time for the heat to get down there, now to bring the silicone up. So don't rush it. I'll go nice and high, and it's just going to take a bit longer for that heat to penetrate. So just bear with me. Don't want to get too close and risk any caterpillars, so I'm just going to go over and over and over and over and see if I can get that heat to go through that thick paint. Just got to keep the circles going. You don't want to burn your paint, that's the other thing, you know, if you get too close you might burn it. Getting there, slowly getting there. It's just taking a lot longer. So I'm just going up nice and high but keeping it in one area, but just going round and round and round and round and round in one area. And letting that heat slowly penetrate that thick paint and bring that oil up. See how tiny my cells are? It's because the mix is so thick this time. I hope I haven't gone the opposite way and gone too thick now. Alright, let's turn that off. I've still got bubbles, like I haven't even got close enough that I can pop bubbles. There's a lot of white there. I probably shouldn't have gone so thick with the white. Maybe 10 grams extra with the white and 20 extra with the, the yellow, but I did 20 extra with the white. I never do that, I always go 10. Anyway, it's just paint, isn't it? Let's stretch, I'm gonna have to tip some of that white off. Where all my primary colors are gone again. I was hoping for a really bright, Bright, bright painting. All right, let's walk this down. Now I can tell that my paint is way too thick because I'm not getting, I'm not getting those beautiful rings. See, I'm not getting those rings around. I'm just them. They look more like bullets, just blobs. And that's what happens when your paint is too thick. 
it's a bit of a shame I've wasted all that paint, but it's, it's a good little experiment for you guys to see exactly what happens. See, hardly any rings, they're just bullets. So if that's happening to you, I'll still put up this video so that you guys can, can see what happens when your mix is too thick. Stretch it out a little bit more. But basically that's what happens. I'll bring you down so you can see a close up. So that previous pour was probably the, the better one. See, no rings. Uh-uh. Too thick. So, <clears throat> yeah. It's, it's got to do with the thickness and also the, um, the white. It's just, you know, giving a really thick coat over the top there. But yeah, no rings to be seen. Oh, there's a couple over there, but really nothing like what it should be. All right, let me take you down for a close-up and I'll show you what I mean. So not a very good painting, this one, but I think it's important that you guys can learn, like if your cells look like this and you go, oh my gosh, what did I do wrong? Well, your paint's too thick, that's what happened. It's not focusing very well. So you haven't got those beautiful rings. They just look like blobs. And also not much in the way of colours come through. Colours can't get up through the white. It's just too thick. A little bit of blue poking through there. But again, not, not what it should be. Mix is too thick. So as I said, not a very pretty painting with this one, but I'll put it up anyway, um, just so that you can, you know, learn something. I think if you learn something out of a pour, then it's not a wasted pour. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna keep it, I'll scrap it, but hopefully you've learned something from it, which makes it worthwhile. All right, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate you guys watching all my videos. Helps me out in these tough times. All right, thanks again. Bye for now.